Here is another poisonous plant, the corn cockle. The corn cockle is native to a bunch of areas in the northern hemisphere of Europe and Asia, but has since spread to areas such as North America and New Zealand. It used to be incredibly common, but has decreased heavily in population due to pesticide use and farmers just trying to remove them because they tend to grow in the same areas as a bunch of crops, and that can be a problem due to the fact that it's poisonous. All parts of the corn cockle are poisonous, but especially the seeds and the oils of the plant, and just a couple seeds can be enough to kill or seriously make sick a adult human or even something like a horse or a cow. The main toxic compound is a glycoside called githigan. Some symptoms of corn cockle poisoning include things like muscle weakness and the ability to stand or otherwise control your limbs as well as respiratory issues like rapid breathing, and that is also the main cause of death due to respiratory paralysis. Since it grew in the same area and fields as things like corn or wheat or other agricultural products, it used to be quite a problem and even still is occasionally. During harvest, people have to meticulously go through the harvested good, particularly things like wheat and other grains, to remove every single instance of corn cockle that got caught up in the rest of the harvest. By removing all of the corn cockle, they helped make sure that people would not get sick from eating products that were made with the accidental corn cockle inclusions. Currently, modern pesticides and stuff have helped take care of the corn cockle in the fields and agricultural areas. However, it has had an effect of making the plant super rare now. And despite the toxicity, it has also historically been used in folk medicine as a healing agent, and modern studies have shown that it could potentially be cytotoxic to help kill cancer cells.